Hello everyone, welcome to another video from my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be talking about net present value in project management. In one of another videos on this YouTube channel, we talked about benefit-cost ratio. That method is also used to compare projects and select the most profitable one among them. Present value is the value of future cash flows today, which means that we are converting the future cash flows to today's rate by the interest rate that we have. As I mentioned earlier, we talked about benefit-cost ratio, which is another method for comparing projects. NPV is also used to compare projects and pick the most profitable one. If NPV is greater than 1, it means that the project is profitable. If the value is less than 1, it means that the project is no profitable. It will make even losses to the company. If there are many projects, each of them with a positive NPV, the company will choose the project with the higher NPV. As you can see here, the formula for present value is given as future value divided by 1 plus interest rate to the power of n. PV here is the present value, FV here is the future value, I here is the interest rate, and n is the number of periods. If you have selected the period as years, so n will be the total number of years. If it's months, n will be the total number of months. It's usually selected as year. Below here, I have shown this diagram again, which I used in the benefit per cost ratio analysis as well. This is for you to understand the different stages of a project. As I said in that video as well, we have the initiation phase, the planning phase, the execution phase, monitoring and controlling phase, and the closing phase. This is the project phases, from initiation up to closing. After this point, the project will be completed and it will go into operations. Before here, the pre-project here is where we do the analysis to choose the project or to compare projects and pick the most profitable project. So let's see some examples and see how actually NPV is used. As you can see in this example here, your company needs to invest $15,000 on project HQH. The project will generate a revenue of $1,600 each year from its completion until 15 years. If the interest rate is assumed to be 6%, what will be the net present value NPV of the HQH project? So let's come here to the solution. First of all, we will draw the cash flow diagram. What does a cash flow diagram represent? It represents the total outgoing money and incoming money. And here, will draw this straight line. The outgoing money will be shown in red, which is $15,000. The incoming money all will be shown in green for all the 15 years, which is $1,600 per year with an interest rate of 6%. So as we have the formula here, PV equals to future value divided by 1 plus i to the power of n. This will be done for year 1, for year 2, for year 3, and it will, it will go on up to year 14 and year 15. Total present value will be $15,509.06. So in order to calculate the NPV, we have the formula here. NPV equals to 
present value which we obtain from here minus the amount that we have invested initially, which is 15,000. When we carry out these calculations, we can see the value is pos a positive number, which is $509.06. So if this value is positive, it means that it's a profitable project. In the next question, which project should you choose to generate the largest amount of benefits for your company? Project A has an NPV of $1,000. B has an NPV of minus $790. And project C here has an NPV of $1,020. So the higher the NPV, the most profitable the project is. So in here, you will select project C. Thank you for watching this video. If you found the information here useful, please do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much.